What's going on, guys? I'm Joe from JoeZilla.com, reporting live from Puerto Vallarta on the brand new Discovery Princess. I had an amazing experience at the chef's table the other night, and I needed to share with you because I know a lot of you cruisers out there want to experience the chef's table, has experienced the chef's table, and knows how special it is and how unique it is. And I should mention right off the bat that this is a full ship, and it holds over 3,600 guests. So to get on this exclusive, exclusive dinner experience, it's very difficult, so you have to be kind of proactive. The moment you get on the ship, maybe even weeks before you get on the ship, you gotta try to get on that list. First off, I just wanted to share a little bit of what this experience is like. Now, I should note that I had a few guests at my table that have done other princess chef's tables, and they said that this was a different experience, not a bad one, just different. There was things that were presented that they didn't exactly do at other chef's tables. Obviously, COVID has changed a lot of how they do things. Like, they used to do a galley tour. They didn't do a galley tour this time, but I didn't need that, really. I mean, that's a cool experience, but didn't need it. They do give you the menu at the end. Like I said, I hope that they do this for everyone, but they give you the menu at the end, which is what I'm going to show you. And they also did a photo with the chef and the maitre d', and you get to take that photo home. It was kind of funny because I was alone, so um, it's just me and them. So it's, it's, it's a great photo. I'll keep it forever. It's, it's a nice photo. Shortly after we get seated in our private room, Francisco Patricio, the director of restaurant operations, introduces us to Daniel Tanchev, the executive chef for the evening. Immediately after that, they uh, pour us our first glass of champagne and we do a little bit of a toast right before they close the starlight curtain around us to private us from the rest of the guests in the dining room. Then we had our first dish, which was an oyster with some grapefruit and crispy bread, lime shrimp, duck breast, sea scallops and more followed by a gorgeous asparagus-like soup, very velvety and soft deliciousness. And then my main man, Timothy, opens a Silverado Sauvignon Blanc from Napa Valley, which is going to lead us into what might, might be my favorite dish of the evening, was a tomato water risotto with Alaskan crab burrata cheese and saffron. And um, let me just tell you, the pictures don't do it any justice. But because of the fishiness, we had to get a little sorbet to clear our palates, which actually had some beef eaters gin in it, which is interesting. And then our main entree was beef filet mignon with black garlic bazoli style, lamb loin medallion, avocado shallots and cornflakes, salmon confit, leek potatoes, followed by dessert, which was just insane. Talk about indulgence, sweet dark chocolate with passion fruit. Yum. <laughs> 